This is meteorologist John Keyes. We've forecast all the way through the eclipse. One week from now, we are starting out wet and cool, but as we get through the rest of this week, warmer and drier weather will return. Unfortunately, that means we'll see some increase in fire concerns as we get the dry air in place, the warmer daytime temperatures in. For those that have health concerns related to smoke, we may see an increase in smoke overall from the north and northwest as the flow aloft turns from the north and northwest for the middle and end of the week. We do have some issues coming. The forecast does become a bit cloudy. There's a pun involved there. And that is for the weekend and one week from now on the day of the eclipse, and we'll talk about that in just a moment. Now, anybody that's got plans over the next... 36, 48 hours that involve getting ready for this eclipse. We continue to see some showers through the rest of the day across the southeast corner of the state. That's where the bulk of the precipitation will be. Elsewhere, as we go through the rest of the day, we get some breaks in the clouds. We might see a few showers and thunderstorms developing just because there's a lot of moisture in place across the area. Going into tonight, showers linger across the southeast corner, but we'll see drying conditions over most of the area. The current indications are there may be a band of showers maybe a lightning strike or two across the Snake Plain into the eastern highlands behind the main area. But as we go into tomorrow morning and through the rest of Tuesday, we will see just mainly isolated showers and thunderstorms, a bit of an uptick in activity during the day as we get heating during the day. But by the time we get into tomorrow evening and early Wednesday morning, conditions will be drying out and clearing up across the area. And that is that stretch of mostly dry weather that is headed our direction. Now, by Wednesday afternoon and Wednesday evening, we continue to see a few showers across the south, and that's mainly because we have this lingering area of low pressure to the south of Idaho down towards the desert southwest. We talked about that northwest flow developing across the area. As we go into Thursday, we still have some lingering showers across the south and a few thunderstorms. Are we going to see clouds elsewhere, showers? The likelihood is very, very low at this point. But you see that northwest flow setting up. That would bring any smoke to our north, that thick smoke that we saw a few days ago, back into our area temporarily. But as we head into Friday, we watch a ridge of high pressure briefly building into our area. Still might have a shower or two along the Utah border during the day on Friday. But heading into the weekend... We will see the next storm system setting up across the west. Here we are by Saturday afternoon. We're dry, but this system is setting up over the west, generally along the west coast. There is still quite a bit of uncertainty on how far west or east this system sets up, and that determines when and where we might see precipitation for all the festivities late in the week, the weekend, and, of course, a week from today. As we go through the period, that area of low pressure sets up. The monsoon moisture moves in, so by Sunday... Some showers and thunderstorms, especially across southern areas, this is going to change. This is just a first guess on what's going to happen. As we go into Sunday night, Monday morning, some lingering showers and thunderstorms through the noon hour. Again, just the idea is there that this may happen. We may see some people moving around. We may see just enough of a window that we can see the eclipse in totality without any issues. But again... That'll be up in the air for us. By the time we get into Tuesday, things start to dry out across the area as that storm system moves on to the east. And if you're looking for any type of forecast out there that kind of sums up what we're looking at next week, a mix of sun and clouds on m Monday, the day of the eclipse. There could be showers and thunderstorms across the area. Again, it's all about how things time out. And we're talking about wildfire smoke. It may not necessarily be smoke moving in or out of the area. If we get any fires going over the next few days, that smoke could eclipse your view a week from now.